Hi, this is Noel Price at Falafel Software. We want to look at how to use regular expressions with property checkpoints to verify content in our elements. In this case, what we want to do is check this email address, not for any particular content inside it, but that it suits the pattern, the, the shape of an email address, that it has the at sign, that it has the dot, it has these characters in between. That's what we're looking for. So we can do that from the editor or from the recording toolbar, go and create a property checkpoint. Go ahead and select the element that we're interested in checking, this email address. In this case, I happen to have an alias already set up, so that's fine. And the content text is browser agnostic and gives us the text that's inside that element. So when we click the next button, we're going to find that we've got the logged in user object and we're checking its content text property against one of two conditions, matches and does not match, both allow us to use regular expressions instead of some particular string. So we're gonna to try to match a regular expression and instead of having the actual email address here, we're gonna to need to build a regular expression that recognizes an email pattern. So how do we do that? How do we get the syntax? Well, there's lots of uh, uh, resources on the web right now for that, including this one in the online help, the regular expression syntax. Also, a lot of tools out there. My favorite happens to be Expresso. I don't own any stock in this, but uh, it's pretty handy just the same. So they're at ultrapico.com. So whatever tool you find in order to build regular, regular expressions, including your brain, is going to be just fine. So what this is going to allow us to do is put in some kind of of sample that we can put a regular expression against and see what the results are. Uh, we'll be able to hit the validate button, whatever expression we have here will come out in the search results. So let's go ahead and build a regular expression. Um, there's lots of different ways to skin the cat as it were, and so I'm gonna make one that's fairly simple. Start with brackets, and we can have any series of characters. So A through Z, we could have the uppercase A through Z, zero through nine, get all of the, the numerals. Those might be in email addresses, as well as underscores, dots, and dashes. Now for the dots and dashes, both of those have special meanings for regular expressions, and so we'll need to escape those with a backslash. So backslash dash and backslash dot will both be looked at as literals. So this, everything that's in the brackets here matches any one character. When we hit the validate, uh, Express is not entirely happy with this, but it matches each one of these characters individually. If we want it to match a series of these, we put in a plus. And go ahead and try the validate again. And now it's starting to pick up entire chunks of text here, so that's good. Next up, we need an at sign. And we could just put that in as a literal at sign here. And I'm going to copy this off and paste the same series again. So it's any series of characters inside the brackets any number of times, the at sign, another set of the same characters any number of times. Now I want a dot here. Again, I need to escape that, so it'll be backslash dot. And then the final series of characters. When we validate this, now uh, the regular expression is satisfying the entire series of characters there and, and the regular regular expression is good. So you can build regular expressions this way um, in tools like this. Uh, Expresso, for instance, has an expression library with some built-in uh, boilerplate patterns, so you could use their, their email address here. Uh, in any case, now that we've got the email address pattern, we can go into our property checkpoint and instead of the hard-coded value, we'll paste in the pattern. So notice the backslashes here, they're just one at a time. That's not going to work too well for JavaScript. Those need to be escaped for JavaScript. And as it happens, this expert, uh, or this wizard from Test Complete is going to take care of that for us when we hit the finish. It's going to give us a whole line of code here that we can copy onto our clipboard and then paste the whole chunk of code right in the editor. So I'm going to do a little bit of formatting here so we can see all of the code. Notice the backslashes are doubled up. 
I mention this because later you may start writing this code by hand and it's quite the fun bug when the expressions aren't working out and they've been working inside of Expresso or, or some other tool uh, and it'll be because of those backslashes. So just uh, have a care on those. Now we're going to go ahead and run this against the live site. It's going to go out to the logged in user element and check that the content text matches the pattern. Not the hard coded text, but the pattern came back pretty quick, which tells us it's happy with that. We look at the log and see that the content, te content text property of the logged in user meets the checkpoint condition. So that we've got the actual value was this email address and it matched the pattern that we passed to it. So that works fairly nicely. I'd like to get a little bit better feel that it works if I put in something odd. So, uh, so that works for the negative as well as the happy path here. So let's take this logged in user and put some different emails into it. Um, now content text happens to be a read only property, but there's a browser specific uh, writable property text content that we can use. And let's start with a known good email pattern here. This should pass just fine. Coming back quick, so that's telling us that's good. Let's go ahead and make a problem here. So we make sure we test the failing condition. This will take longer as test complete tries to build the error log. And now we can see that we we wrote nolaflavel.com in full into the text content. It showed up here. We verified against it, and it did not match the pattern, which is as you would expect. So there you have it, using checkpoint a check property against a regular expression using the CMP matches or CMP does not match condition. Thanks for watching.